Around 100 million adults in the United States live with excess weight or obesity. As this number increases, so does our understanding of the health issues that excess weight causes, the dieting myths we all believe, and the weight management strategies that can actually help. So, Wired Brand Lab sat down with Dr. Holly Lofton of NYU's Grossman School of Medicine to discuss the science behind weight. Weight impacts our everyday lives. It can make it harder to move, affect how we feel, or cause other health issues. My job is to explain to patients why it's so hard to maintain weight loss, share what options they have to help in their journey, and let them know that they're not alone. A common way to measure body fat is using body mass index, or BMI, which is calculated using your weight and height. BMI is used to classify excess weight and obesity in adults. For example, a BMI in the range of 25 to 29.9 is considered to be overweight, and a BMI in the range of 30 or greater is considered obesity. There isn't one number that fits everyone. A person's BMI may change over time with changes in weight. BMI does not tell us everything about a person's health. While excess weight can be unhealthy, not all fat is bad for you. Everyone needs a certain amount to store energy, create heat, and protect their muscles and organs. But too much fat can have a negative impact on our overall health. In fact, for many people who carry excess weight, losing just 5 to 15% of their total weight could improve some weight-related health issues, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, sleep apnea, and osteoarthritis. Losing weight can also improve their ability to perform everyday activities such as walking, climbing stairs, bending down, kneeling, carrying groceries, dressing and bathing, and performing moderate to vigorous exercise. Small changes can deliver a big win. While healthy eating and physical activity are essential, they may not be enough to keep weight off. In fact, a study showed that only one in 10 people who lose weight is able to keep that weight off. I had done so many diets over the course of my lifetime. I had failed so often, and each time I failed, I felt more ashamed and embarrassed that I decided I'm done. And when it became so difficult for me to move at the weight I was at, I finally got the courage to try it one more time. And that's when I started looking for science-based, evidence-based treatment. People with obesity have been told that weight loss is a matter of willpower, and they simply need to reduce calories and increase physical activity. But anyone who has tried to lose weight knows that it feels like the body is fighting against any progress made. And scientifically, that's actually true. To lose weight, your body must use more calories than it consumes. This can be achieved by reducing calories and increasing physical activity. But the body reacts to weight loss by trying to regain weight, making weight management a constant tug of war. Your body thinks that this loss of weight is an emergency. Because thousands of years ago, the fatty tissue was created as a storage unit to use for when food was scarce. Think of fat cells as like a rainy day fund of energy for the body. And when your body starts spending its rainy day fund, the survival mechanism engages to keep you from spending it all. Following weight loss, the body's metabolism slows down and appetite hormones change, making you feel more hungry and less full. Data has shown that changes in appetite hormones may occur as early as 10 weeks after we see weight loss. People make an average of seven serious attempts to lose weight over time, but for many, the results never seem to last. That's why I encourage them to think about weight management instead of weight loss. Diets have a beginning and an end, and if you think of it as a 12-week program, after 12 weeks, you may revert back to your previous routine. The process of losing weight is not a game of fad diets and exercise. It involves a whole lifestyle change for yourself and sometimes your family as well. Your weight is influenced by many factors, including genetics, lifestyle, behavior, environment, and even relationships. Studies show that romantic partners can impact your weight because you start to adopt their eating and exercise habits. These studies show that they start to develop similar body types. People respond differently to diet and exercise, which is why multiple treatment strategies for weight management should be considered. The paths to successful weight loss are as unique as the individuals who are practicing them. Losing weight is a challenge, but maintaining those results is just as hard. And while dealing with the weight can feel lonely, you don't have to do it alone. We have more tools to help you today than ever before. And understand that there is no finish line. Managing weight and health is an ongoing effort. Don't wait. Do something about it now. Go to your healthcare provider and ask them for help. Your team can include an empathetic healthcare provider who specializes in weight management and obesity care, who will discuss treatment options such as lifestyle modifications, behavioral counseling, prescription medicines, and even surgery. 
a registered dietitian to help you develop an eating plan that meets your needs, a therapist or mental health provider to help explore emotional factors and identify ways to adopt positive habits, a support network of friends and family to encourage and motivate you, or an online community where you can connect with people who have similar goals. Choosing the right healthcare team will help you develop a weight management plan and stick to it. One study showed that people who partner with their healthcare provider lost five times more weight than those who followed a self-directed program. And while healthy eating and physical activity are important to success, talk to your healthcare provider about treatment options such as lifestyle modifications, behavioral counseling, prescription medicines, and even surgery that could help you lose weight and maintain it. Weight regain isn't a result of personal shortcomings, it's a result of how the body responds to weight loss. While there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, there are more ways to help than ever before. Talk to your healthcare provider to create a weight management plan that can make a positive change in your life.